Hello and welcome to the episode 248 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The start of the first residency of the Quarrymen, the Beatles working on I Am The Warrus, and Eric Clapton playing guitar on While My Guitar Gently Weeps are some of the highlights of this episode. Let's start with the 5th of September 1959 performance that the Quarrymen gave at the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool. The Guitar Quartet, featuring Cam Brown, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney, had had enough success during the opening of the club to receive the offer for a Saturday night residency, which they readily accepted. On this date, they had their first regular event at the venue. One year later, in 1960, the Beatles, now a quintet featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed their 20th night of another residency, this time at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. In 1961, after Paul had replaced Sutcliffe on bass, the Beatles had become a quartet once again. The lads performed a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. Indeed, the Beatles were starting to feature regularly at the Cavern, and they were also meant to have an evening performance there on this date, but it was moved to the 6th of September at last minute. Same venue in 1962, but with an opposite problem. The Beatles were forced to move their arranged lunchtime concert to the next day, to recover after the late return from London, after the recording session of the 4th of September. They only appeared at night for their 98th performance during a Cavern Evening Jive event. Moving on to 1963, the Beatles, with Ringo Starr finally at his place on drums, performed at a Gaumont Cinema in Taunton for the second John Smith promotion night. As we saw yesterday, these concerts were a kind of payback from Beatles manager Brian Epstein to Smith, because of the many cancellations of the presence of the Fabs to various Mercy Beat showcase events in 1963. In 1964, the Beatles played a one-show performance at the International Amphitheatre in Chicago, Illinois. And it is as good a time as any to remind you to please visit www.simonmas.com support and, well, support this channel and our growing community. Check out the page, it says everything you will ever need to know. Thank you for being fab, and if you want, please drop me a line with requests about what you would like to see featured on this channel. More music history videos are in the planning stage, but I'm open to suggestions. Thank you! 5th of September 1966 John Lennon flew from London to Hanover, West Germany, to get ready to play his first, and last, acting role without the rest of the Beatles in Richard Lester's How I Won the War. It was an anti-war war film, in which John played Private Gripwith, a minor role that nevertheless allowed him to jump into something different that would have taken his mind off the Beatles and their decision to stop touring. One year later, in 1967, the Beatles were at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road to record a new song, which turned out to be the third for their new Magical Mystery Tour project. After the title track, and your mother should know, the band tackled I Am The Warrus, working on it today between 7.00 pm and 1.00 am. In the first session following the death of their manager Brian Epstein, see episode 239 for more info on that, the Fabs recorded 16 takes of the rhythm track, featuring John on electric piano and guide vocals, Paul first on bass and then on tambourine, George on electric guitar and Ring on drums. As heard in the version released in the Anthology 2 double album, the song initially had an extra bar before the yellow matter custard verse, which caused some problems as nobody remembered exactly which chord they had to use for the transition to the verse. The bar was removed during the editing. The band walked away with a rough monomix of take 16, deemed the best. 
Let's close the episode with a 1968 recording session in Abbey Road. On this date, the Beatles went back to work on While My Guitar Gently Weeps, between 7 pm and 3.45 am. George Harrison recorded another two lead vocal parts and another lead guitar part, and Ringo Starr overdubbed maracas and drums. Hearing the playback of the track, though, George was so displeased with the results that he called for an immediate remake of the song. The Beatles then recorded 28 takes of the rhythm track, numbered 17 to 44, with drums played by Ringo, acoustic guitars and guide vocals played by George, electric guitar by John, and piano or organ, depending on the take, by Paul. Take 25 was chosen as the best. As it happened, the take also featured a guest. George Harrison had invited Eric Clapton in the studio, and they decided to talk him into playing lead guitar for the remake of the song. After some reluctance, Clapton agreed. According to Harrison, Clapton's presence made the other Beatles more behaved and attentive during the remake. Nobody wanted to lose face with a guest of that caliber. This concludes the episode, but not our podcast. We will continue tomorrow with more exciting facts and curiosities from the life of the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.